So with the coming of the new Warhammer sequel on the horizon, we'll know more about it this, uh, this Friday coming up. I wanted to go ahead and make this video as a list of things I feel like they need to fix in the current Warhammer game. Um, just tweaks, uh, updates, uh, patches, you know, that they could add, they need to add onto this game before the, um, before the, the next game comes out, the sequel comes out. And I want, I honestly want these things, these things aren't like huge major things, they're just game, they're just mechanic tweaks and, and, and the way the game works tweaks. So there's, I mean, obviously they need to add Kislev, they need to add, um, I, I, I said they need to add the Skaven in here. They need to add, you know, all the other factions need to be buffed up. The one that I ha don't have in this list because I don't know exactly how to put it in. I honestly, like, I, it would it would have kind of fallen under the same wing of, you know, making, um, you know, rounding, you know, adding more factions and stuff, or, or, or tweak or putting more units into the factions is the Empire. The Empire needs to be a lot stronger because um, even the Empire by itself, the actual one that's fleshed out and has all the units, um, Karl Franz's Empire, it, it, it gets overtaken, and this, and this is going to be touched on later, you know, in the video, but it gets overtaken very easily by um, other factions, such as especially the Crooked, the Crooked, um, the Crooked Moon faction. So, uh, the Empire itself, they need to be buffed up a little bit because they cannot hold their provinces at all. Very, very seldom do they hold, they hold them against the outside influences, um, as opposed to the the player who can who can hold them hold hold off against beastmen, uh, orcs, whatever the case might be. So that specifically, like I said, these that's not going to be in the list. They they do need to do that. It's just that the this is just focused on tweaks to the to the game itself that they have right now. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. Number five, color, and like I said, these are gonna be minor tweaks for the most part, and I think that this is one of those things that needs to happen, in my opinion. I, uh, I have mods on right now that add, and that's actually gonna be the, the, from what I'm deriving this list from, is what I have to put mods on for this game to be, to, for this game to run the way I want, and again, I'm not, in this list, I'm not gonna have the mod, I'm not gonna add anything about conquering everything because they specifically for a vanilla version they want each faction to be able to conquer specific things and not conquer specific things so that's fine by me honestly uh you know i can do that as a mod but these other things need to be addressed and the color in this game is just so bland i try to fix it before i put it the mod on i try to fix it with the um with the uh with the graphics area where you can tweak the color and tweak the saturation all that stuff but it, it seldom does anything it just makes things look darker and what i want is i want saturation i want things to pop i want it to be more colorful and for a game that's a fantasy game that's derived in a very colorful set of, of factions um i'm surprised that they don't have this on here or that they had this game looking so bland and bleak because of the fact that uh it's so it's so it, it seems like it should be more colorful i mean in my opinion this should have gone the same route as shogun 2 um, it should have gone the same route as Rome 1, where the, each faction should have been brightly colored, and right now they're not. Uh, I have to add this mod that gives the campaign map, real, like it pops the color of the campaign map, um, and right now I haven't been able to find a mod that adds the same sort of token to the battle, uh, the custom battle, or the regular battle. So if you guys know a mod, let me know. Let, let, let Sunjutsu know in the comments section below if you find a mod that can, you can add to the, um, the fights. And make and, and make the color from them pop, the saturation pop. Maybe, you know, not too much, but just enough, because it just looks so bland and boring. Um, just base game without anything. It, it looks bleak, and and I don't like that. And that's, yeah. Number four, less raising. Now, this is high up on the list because um, without the with the uh, without the conquer all mechanic or mod, then some factions really only have the option to raise. So that's why it's so far up on the list. But some, but a lot of factions that don't have just that on, only um, directive, they just raise far too much, honestly, in my opinion. Like, so I play with this mod that makes it so, and, and I found a mod similar to that in Attila and 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 and, and, and uh, well, in Attila because I, honestly, I like I, I thought raising was cool at first when it came out in Attila. I hate it now, honestly. I just I just do, and and it, it was because when I first made the video of me talking about raising when it right before it came out, 
um, when we found out that that was going to be a thing, I was like, well, I mean, hopefully the AI knows what to do raising because if not, they're going to scorch the entire map. The map's going to look like a checkerboard. It's going to look, it's going to look ugly. It's going to, it's going to basically be so annoying trying to find out the different things. And yeah, if, you, if they seldom use it, that's fine. If they use it, maybe like, like say this fact, this, this province I can't hold for anything. It's in my north. It's in the, it's right above me. And then there's an enemy right after that. Well, I'll raise that, fa that province. And then the enemy really will have a harder time going through that wasteland. Um, because they'll lose men usually because of attrition and stuff. That's fine. And this mod actually does that. It lessens the raising that other factions do a lot. And, uh, and if without it, it, they just raise too much, especially the chaos factions. They just destroy everything. And right now, if you have this mod on, then um, then it'll basically they'll, they'll just raid. They'll, they'll raid, instead of raising them, they'll raid the outposts for the most part. I mean, they'll raid most of them. They'll raise a couple, but they'll raid most of them. So, this is definitely important to have. Number three, improved sieges. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Okay, so, <laughs> sieges in Warhammer aren't as good, in my opinion, as they were in Rome or Attila or anything else that has come before it mainly because you only have one side of the wall that you're fight, you're facing and the enemy really can just focus everything on that side and just destroy your army including the the, the guards the towers they're just way too strong so you need mods to they, there are a lot of mods to make make sure these towers less powerful and it, and, it, and it goes to your benefit when you know you're being attacked and you're outnumbered and then the guard towers are you know defending you but at the same time when you're attack when there's so many siege battles um when it comes to the actual cities it, you you know you want that there to be improvement on that so I would first I would put the guard these these guard posts the guard towers I'd debuff them a little bit I, I I'd make I nerf them a little bit I mean I'll make them a lot a little bit weaker I guess and then the other thing I would do is we have so many cool new maps that came out that people are making on their own cool siege siege maps um, on um, well well kind of city maps I guess it's not the the, the traditional siege. That we have right now but it's like a city and you can just run inside of it kind of thing um or like you know it's, it's an open area so that's kind of the way i would go honestly with some of these maps especially we're going to go into a new the new world and we're going to see like these temple complexes uh for the lizard men that's the way i would have it i would have it an open area um i mean yeah you want some of them to have walls but to have some of them have open areas we can just run in and like have these cool new improved sieges where you have to like go in through these uh choke points and because they're already open and stuff like that and then you know see if you can hold those choke points as a defender that would be pretty cool i mean there are other ways to improve sieges i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have said that you wanted to um they need to and that's you know that's why i want them to do that before the next game comes out Number two, Chaos Pushed Back. Yes, this is the first mod that I grabbed. Um, a sec, lie, that's a lie. The second mod that I grabbed. The first one was Conquer Anything. This was the second one. Push Chaos Back. Chaos comes way too fast. It comes way too fast. Uh, the Chaos Invasions happen too early. You're, the Empire cannot fend off like high tier Chaos units. At that early in the game, they can barely fend off the low tier uh, green skin vampire units that are running around. How can how are they going to be against the uh, the chaos when they finally come? And the chaos have huge stacks of of of, uh, of looks like trained and disciplined armored, heavily armored elite units. Like how is that going to happen? That's the reason that in vanilla, the, the um, one of the reasons the empire doesn't last at all very long. So right now I had two mods on. I had one that pushed back um, chaos. I believe like a hundred turns. Or something like that, I don't know, like 50, 50 turns, 100 turns, 50 to 100 turns. And then I have pushed it way back, which is like 200 turns. That gives literally you enough time to, as a player also, to, to gain your provinces, build your armies, build your tech tree, and have the same thing happen with the other factions. Let them do that too. Because right now, like I said, without these mods on the game, the, the chaos come too early. And, and honestly, like I don't understand how they're going to do it unless they're going to add chaos to the new world as well. And then once chaos starts on your side, it'll start on their side too. So they'll have to fend off chaos as well. Maybe that's the way they're going to be doing it. But if chaos is just fighting and invading the, the old world and nothing's happening in the new world, then you know you might as well just play some some of the factions in the new world because you I mean you don't have to deal with that kind of nuisance in my opinion and it's not like as broken as like say civil war was with Rome too at first um, and uh, the Attila invasion if you don't destroy it right away it's not as as annoying as those 
for the most part uh, because you can if as if you have disciplined armies you can fend them off like if with the with the second mod the push way way back one i was playing as a vampire count and i was able to destroy the initial invasion force with two of my armies because my armies were heavily um heavily elited at that point they had really good units and that that's what i'm talking about if they if you send these these elite chaos armies too early they'll destroy everything i mean they made it all the way into bretonia at one point when i forgot to put the mod on and that's ridiculous so that that needs to change number one last but not least nerfs so yeah this game had these lot of rebalancing with a lot of the can't with a good portion of the campaign factions um especially first of all like i already stated the empire needs to be buffed up all, all, all the empire all the vampire uh, the, uh, the empire the empire counts they need to be all buffed up because right now they're just so weak ineffectual and so I, what i would do is that'd be the first buff but i said nerfs scaling and varg nerf if you do not have this on when the when you're playing the vanilla game they will annihilate kislev right off the bat in the first i would say 50 turns dead gone then they will start destroying the empire and you don't and then they're like the initial chaos wave then you have to deal with the uh, uh the first chaos wave then you have to deal with the big chaos wave and that's ridiculous so as soon as i put on this this um this nerf this nerf it makes them so they they kind of stay in their area they don't attack as often uh, and i believe it takes them longer to get the um some of the higher tier uh chaos styled units so that's good uh, the one nerf that I haven't been able to find is the crooked nose nerf because they need one they are way too powerful and they destroy the empire too quickly uh, the dwarves they just can't dwarves are one of the weaker factions in my opinion when it comes to the ai controlling them in total war warhammer and they i've never seen them take over a huge swath of area never they cannot stand against um the crooked the crooked moon they can they can't they can't they, they just they're not going to be able to so that they need to be uh nerfed as well i would maybe put vamp vampire counts maybe but because of the fact that they can just summon so many zombies and they can just refill their ranks so easily maybe a little bit not too much there though just a tweak because it kind of goes with their lore green skins wah nerf that back because that is ridiculous they get wall armies so fast and when they get these wall armies these wall armies should be comprised of weak units like the weak like like sort of like the vampire counts get uh, are easily able to summon these weak zombies and skeletons if they want these armies to kind of hold places and you know just to be there to hold places that's fine or to be uh, an addition to their good army that's fine but when you have these wall armies and they have such high tier units in them that's just ridiculous they need to be they, they need to be nerfed in my opinion and uh that's about it because there's there aren't that many factions uh, left in in um the old uh, the old world that uh, they have they've added so far but yeah those are essentially it. those are the ones that i want to be nerfed if there are other ones that you can think of that i might have missed put in the comment section below and let me know guys um but anyway that concludes my list uh let me know what you guys thought of it and what you would change and uh if you agree or disagree with any of them disagree i'm fine with just let me know if there's something that you you know just be respectful if there's something that you want to you know that you don't think that should be changed that i you know that that you think that they're doing good that i put on the list and uh, let me know other things that you think that should be uh fixed or tweaked updated patched before the next game comes out let me know guys uh let's see if we can get over 100 likes um i've been pushing for 50 likes for so long and you guys are great normally i get around 80 likes uh not every video but most videos and so i'm gonna start pushing it i would like to get 100 likes on this video uh please i would definitely appreciate it guys uh thank you so much for watching you guys are freaking unbelievable and awesome for sticking with me through the hard times through the good times it's been about around three years let's keep going strong next warhammer game next historical game this is going to be sunjutsu signing off take care guys